no, I'm not making beer, I'm boiling beans so we can make some soup today because the important thing about doing beans is you want to let them soak overnight and then you want to put the pot on the stove, bring it up to a boil and then shut it off and set the timer for exactly one hour because then they're ready to go. You want them to have some texture but you don't want to be, you know, chewing on rocks. So anyway, today on Man Cave Munchies, I'm going to just show you how to make a nice manly meal. It's going to be a, a white bean soup, so you're going to need some beans ready to go. Like I said, I've boiled these up a little bit. You're going to need some bacon. You're going to need a carrot, an onion, a can of diced tomatoes, and last but not least, a beer. So stand by and I'll show you how to put this crowd-pleasing man cave meal together. Let's start off by putting our pot on the stove and lighting fire underneath it. I've had this thing cooking for about a minute. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slice up some bacon and dice up our onions. So I'm going to start off by putting the bacon in there first. And you'll know it's hot enough when you hear that magical sound. Like a lot of stews, we start off with a base of bacon and onions. So in this soup, it's going to be about the same procedure. And as soon as we get this melted down a little bit, get some of the oil rendered, then I'm going to add in the onion. Like so. not to drop the onions. There's always a piece that manages to get away. It's okay. You want to cook this down until the onion turns translucent and the bacon starts to brown. So that's going to be, I don't know, four or five minutes. I'm back. Did you miss me? As you can see, our onions have cooked down. Our bacon is starting to brown. So now it's time to go on to the next part of the procedure because there's nothing like better than bacon, beans, and beer, right? So next I'm going to add the beans. I want to give them a stir because I'm trying to infuse them with a little bit of the oils that we have down at the bottom of the pot. And of course the taste of the bacon and the onions. Then I'm going to add the beer. Followed by four cups of water. We want to have enough to cover that bad boy. A little later on we might adjust the fluids, but again, you don't need a ton of it. You just want to make sure that it's completely covered. And then into that, we're going to add our diced tomatoes. And then on top of that, we're going to grate, okay, grate, right, a carrot. You don't want to chop it, you want to grate it. And the trick when you're grating a carrot is to try to keep the fingers out of the mix. I want to do about, I'd say two thirds of this bad boy. We don't have to over carrot it, but you want to put some in there. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to add a dash of salt. Give it a good stir. And then I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let this come up to a bubble and then I'm going to let it simmer for about an hour. 
and then we're going to taste it. So stand by and we'll be right back with bacon beans and beer soup on Man Cave Munchies. All right, we've had the um, bacon beans and beer bubbling along here for about an hour now. So what I normally do at this point is make a little adjustment. I have tasted the broth and I'm going to add just a little bit more salt, another little pinch of salt there. And then to kind of finish it off and give it a little bit of consistency, what I like to do is take a little poke at it with my potato masher here to break up some of the beans. You still want to have some whole beans in there, but you want to make it a little bit more like a, a chowder. See? See how it thickens it up a little bit? Give it another stir. It's time to take this bad boy for a test drive. There you have it. Bacon, beans, and beer chowder from Man Cave Munchie.